Hey Capricorn, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Saturday, February 6th. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. The heart of your reading, we have the Eight of Swords reversed, Nine of Swords, Three of Pentacles reversed. So you had been going around and around and around about something because you had competing thoughts in your head. Like, well, they're saying this is true and I believe that this is true, but then this other person says that the facts are actually different what is actually true? So that was resolved, but that resolution led you to a real concern because first it was just wandering in confusion and I don't know what to believe. But once you know what's true, you find yourself in a, in a state of, well, this is some heavy information. What am I going to do about this? And I think it has to do with um, a team. They're giving me, it's a team. There's a weak link in the chain. It wasn't clear who was the weak link. Now it's clear but it's no less worrisome because this is an integral member of the team that now this needs to be addressed one way or another. Like, do we replace this person? How do we even go about doing that? They're letting the team down. Show me the challenge here. King of Swords reversed, Fool reversed. You and or the team in general is held back from even starting until you make some sort of decision or a decision is made. The challenge is not knowing what to do. It's like there's some sort of deadline approaching, some sort of, or missing an opportunity, like, hey, if we launch now, then we're in the right season for like our product to be released in the right time frame. There's some sort of like urgency that I'm getting off of the fool in reverse. Like you can't even get started until this, this decision is made. And it's that urgency that makes me feel like it's not going to be an easy decision. It's not going to be clear cut. No one's going to feel like they had 100% certainty that this was the right way to go, no matter what you choose. There is no perfect decision here. Show me the energy of Capricorn's focus. Making the decision. So I think you're the decider here. Two of swords in reverse. The reversal can either mean complete inability to make the decision, or it might mean you've made the decision. Either way, that's indicating to me that you are this King of Swords figure. Needing to make an imperfect decision that affects the team. In the recent past, we have the Emperor in reverse. That can be a change of leadership.
or someone that was previously heading up part of the team, that could be the person that's that's um, shirking their responsibilities. Yeah, it's either that or you're needing to now step up and take responsibility for making a choice because someone else isn't doing it. King to Emperor, we may also be talking about like making a decision to release someone who is in a higher position of authority over you, which is a unique conundrum, right? It's like, I don't know how to give you an example of that, but it's, it's, it's like the boss could be at fault here. The boss could be the one who's letting the team down. So for the good of the team, it's like, we need to somehow get the boss replaced. That's a possibility. Show me the energy of the environment. The devil. The obstacle, the thing that's holding you back. So, this whole situation is happening so that you eliminate the weak link because they're holding you back. From a big picture perspective, it's a good thing that this is happening now and not later. In the near future, we have the Page of Wands reversed, the Chariot reversed, and the Seven of Pentacles reversed. It's a total, total change of direction. It's cutting losses, recognizing that 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 path is no longer in alignment with where you want to go and it's saying i'm no longer interested in that path i feel like that's summing up the 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 core of the decision that you're going to be making There's more, there's more words they want me to use for the Page of Wands to further describe it. I'm just trying to tune in here. What you're not getting engagement on. That could be one of your metrics. We have a lack of engagement in a certain area, and so we're going to stop investing in that area because it's not moving forward. Show me surprise energy. This transition is happening. This is excellent to show up in this reading anywhere because it's saying this is a natural progression. The reversal says that it's going to be somewhat gentle and that this is mm, it's nature taking its course. The inevit inevitability of death, the inevit inevitability of this ending Your hopes and fears, we have the Two of Cups in reverse. You might be friends with this person, or they might be like a family member.
or you might be in business with your partner, like a relationship partner. Because we do have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. I'm just giving it another look to see from a perspective of, uh, is there a message here regarding relationship that they want me to bring out? Of course, any team can be construed as a relationship read. Someone's not contributing their best. You have to make a difficult decision to cut your losses because there's no future here. And then whether this is relationship or business or otherwise, the fear is that you're gonna burn a bridge with someone that you care about. Show me the end result for Capricorn. How do these energies resolve? Happy days are ahead. You're going to be, be able to move past this toward a very abundant future. It's like you were stuck in an old cycle and with the opportunity that spirit is giving you in order to release this weak link or dead weight or whatever it is, they would have really weighed you down, held you back. Now you're going to be on the path toward success, toward expansion. It's going to free you up to expand. Expand your horizons, expand the business, to grow and evolve into something bigger, better, more. Your advice is trust yourself. You are the Empress. You have everything that it takes in order to step in for the Emperor. If you see yourself as a king, like king, queen level, uh, level yourself up in your mind. You are very creative. You're a creative problem solver. You know how to bring people together. And that's going to be a very useful ability. You have a certain charisma where when you explain something or present something, people are receptive because of your, the energy that you bring to it. Spirit wants you to be aware of your unique qualities and feel confident in them and use them. Capricorn, I hope this helped. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow.